chichas. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Four Horsemen action figure review on the Mythic Legions Asterion, also known as Cowface. Uh, I like to call him Cowface, right? Anyway, if you're trying to pick this figure up or any of the other figures from this wave, you can find them at Bigger Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. This figure looks really, really cool. I missed out on the Four Horsemen Seventh Kingdom Minotaur figures from way back, and I'm very excited that we get a similar looking version of those figures, you know? So I'm really stoked about this. Uh, looking right over here, you get some weapons, and then looking right there, you get this cool, I don't know, like an elk or something on the back. Uh, you get the whole read up on the Mythic Legions. So if you wanna read that, go ahead and pause it now. Then here's all the other figures that came out with Mythic Legions. Then on this side, there is a read up on Asterion. If you wanna read it, go ahead and pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. Wait, before we do that, I just wanna mention how cool it is that it's very easy to like open this and just peel the plastic away so that you could put it back inside the packaging if you wanted to, so that's awesome. All right, anyway, let's crack this thing open. And here's Asterion out of the packaging and wow, what an amazing figure. This thing is amazing. I can't, I, I'm just gonna say amazing over and over again throughout this whole review. I love this freaking figure, man. I am so happy with this thing. It is incredible. I, the articulation is great. The articulation really stands out. Uh, the sculpt and paint is immaculate, but that's what I typically expect from the Four Horsemen. They've always delivered on great sculpt and great paint, but the articulation's at another level than we've gotten with the Gothatropolis figures and the Seventh Kingdom figures. It's just spectacular, and it just makes it a very, very fun figure to have. I absolutely love this thing. This is one of my absolute favorite figures from the Four Horsemen ever. The, oh, man. Look at it! <laughs> now, I gotta say the accessories over here are pretty awesome. I really dig them a lot. I love this gold shield. The blue deco came out really nice on this. Very cool looking elk. Or is it moose? I don't know. Let me know if you know. And I like how we get a slightly different color gold right here on the trim. And then as opposed to the actual shield itself. So that's pretty awesome. And looking on the inside you have this clip which is removable and you can rotate it because it's removable. I really like that a lot. Now, if you don't have these shoulder pads on here, which you have to assemble, assemble yourself, and you can just pop them off like that, you know? So if you don't have those on there, you can put the shield on his back, but otherwise uh, it won't really fit on there because it would get in the way, as you can tell right over there. Now looking at these weapons, uh, he comes with this incredible ax, which I really like a lot. Look at this thing, man, this is so cool. Ah, oh, I love that we get this black wash over the silver right over here. Here. Very good looking, really like the blue, very nice etched out detail throughout. And when I have him holding it, it's usually right here or right here, not on the square part, you know? I think that is just awesome. What's also cool is that you can have a double edged axe by taking this little corner piece off and then attaching this piece right over here and shabow! Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. And then he comes with the sword over here, which I really like a lot as well. Nice little line work right there on the handle, so that's looking really cool. Love the silver paint on this, and it is quite sharp too. You can see how pointy it is. I really dig that a lot. And he also comes with this little sash piece right over here, which I can't really get on the figure. I think it's for maybe the other figures that come from the wave, you know what I mean? Because there's different figures that have the same buck. But you can clearly see that, you know, this is for weapon storage over here. But it just doesn't really work out with this guy because he has this huge piece right over here attached to it. Move over! Okay, I just had to do a stupid joke. Okay, anyway, looking at Cowface over here, I think he looks awesome. But this brings me to my only complaint that I have with the figure, and it doesn't even really have to do with the figure itself, it's just the way it was packaged, that there's a lot of paint scuffing right over here on the nose and on this horn right over there, and that bothers me just because, you know, it's such an awesome looking sculpt and they give so much paint on this figure that looks so good that to see any of it kind of ruined like that just because that's the way it was packaged really bothers me. Uh, if they had done something like what Hot Toys does where they put just a tiny thin film of little plastic square right over it or something like that, maybe that would help prevent that. But I mean, look at the sculpt over here. You can even see the little veins right over on the snout. I love that they use a glossy black plastic, not just for the eyes, but for the no for the nose too, you know? The color variation with the browns looks really good. I really dig it, man. This is so cool. I'm looking at his horns right over here. Wow, I love how it fades from the black into the white. And looking up top right there, if I dim this down just a little bit, you could see some of those lines sculpted right over here. That looks really good. 
I really like that a lot. Now I actually had this one kind of coming loose, so if you really wanted to pop those off, I guess you could, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. It just looks so much better with that in there. Looking at the shoulders over here too, I don't want to forget about these. These are awesome as well. I love the gold paint, nice shiny blue over there. That is awesome, awesome. As I said, you're just gonna hear me say awesome over and over throughout this review. And I love how it fades right here. The transition over here is just immaculate. It's just really well done through and through, even right here on the front of it. Very good looking figure. I think the musculature is awesome. You get some veins right over there. This stone looks really good. Nice metallic blue for that. And the armor, oh my goodness, I love this part. Dude, that looks so sick. Oh, man. All the little cracks in there. The color variations that they have in it. Oh, my God. The details in this. I'm geeking out over here. This is just so gorgeous. I mean, if you love action figures, as an adult collector, and you really appreciate action figures and the craft of it, you would love this thing. Just holding it in hand. It is beautiful. Oh, jeez. This video, damn, yeah, I, I just don't feel like looking at it, you know, on a laptop or a computer or whatever is going to do it justice. You got to see this thing in hand, just the details throughout. Oh, man, and this whole piece right over here, this looks so good through and through. Yeah, bull butt right there, a uh, tiny little bit of blue bleeding, you know, just a tiny bit. And you get all these little silver dots right over there, those silver buttons. There's his legs looking pretty good. Then right over here, oh man, I just love how this came with the hooves like this. It just looks really well done. Uh, I just love it. And just looking at the details right here, I just stare at it like that all day. Yeah, looking at his feet. Uh-huh. Yep. Damn. Ah, uh, so well done. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet. And they even sculpt the little details right over here at the very bottom too. Oh man, it's great. Now you can remove the head over here. And you can remove this whole piece right over there. So you can see how they've used this for other figures as well. Uh, just to see how it looks popping this head on here. You know, it does look a little bit ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to show off the buck without anything on there. And again, you know, that paint fading right there from the top towards the center right there. That looks awesome. feel like kind of a dummy because I'm pretty sure they made these horns removable so you can change them around any way you like. So as far as articulation goes, you can rotate the horns any direction you'd like to. I think that is great, man. Ah, uh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Okay, anyway, you can move the head up very far too. So he will look up that much. You do get the flesh tone seeping up underneath there with the ball peg though. You can look down very far. You get side to side movement over here and you also get a fair amount of head pivot. He also has the shoulder pads that can rotate up and down and they do not pop off easily at all. So I think that's great. Shoulders move outward that far. Far. You can rotate them forward. He has no bicep swivel, but he does have a single jointed elbow that does not quite meet the 90 degree mark. Uh, he has rotation at the elbow as well. You get rotation at the forearm as well as the wrist, and the wrists both hinge up and down over here. He does not have a diaphragm joint, but he has a very good waist joint. Rotate side to side, you get some hip articulation, pivot right over there. And he also crunches forward and he crunches back. He has great hip joints that move all the way outward, so you can do the bull splits. And he can kick all the way forward, kicks all the way back, upper thigh cut in there. Pretty good single jointed knee, bends in pretty well. It looks like it's meeting the 90 degree mark and it also rotates side to side. You get rotation side to side at the ankle. It does move down some, it moves up some, and of course it does have ankle pivot. Now measuring this figure out to the top of his head, it's just a little over seven inches tall, but to the top of the horns, it's closer to eight inches. Now for your size comparisons, I don't remember the names of all these characters, but there's our seventh kingdom wild boar, and then we have the goat from the Gothatropolis, and then from the ravens, we have Eagleus over here, then here's Asterion. Now you can see after the seventh kingdom, they did downscale these just a little bit, but I think these work still. This is very, very cool. Then to compare Asterion to your average six inch scale figure, here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. Mmm, <laughs> well, what is that? <sighs> it smells like cheeseburger in here. Steak? Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Maybe if I could just get a little bite. Oh no! Whoa! No! Just 
Just so you know, every frame that you saw in that stop motion segment where he's standing on one foot, there was no support from a display stand or anything. He was just standing on his own ankle pivot over there. See the magic that you get with the ankle pivot? Now the horsemen work with Mattel, so they take away the ankle pivot in the Mattel horseman action figures, but when the horsemen are all on their own, they give us stuff like this. Oh, I absolutely love the figure. Highly recommend it. The thing is too badass. I am not looking forward to placing this on my display shelf. I just want to keep playing with the figure and keep posing it around. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shark in your face. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please do so. Stay up to date with Shark's Prime videos by clicking that right over there. If you want to check out my last review, I did a review on the Marvel Universe 2-pack, 3-3 three, three quarter inch Thors. That includes the Odinson and the Lady Thor. And then before that, I did a review on the Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano. If you haven't seen that review, go ahead and click the button right over there. And if you haven't checked out the Rosology YouTube channel, it's my second channel. Not necessarily for all ages, but you might enjoy it. Please check that out right over there. I'll have a link in the description below as well. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images from this review, you can find it at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. Crispy. I mean, you know, like the color just grows, goes in there.